Now let's find the inverse of a function. Let's say we have this particular relation for x and y. Our values of x or the domain of this function is at 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the range or the value of y for this function is negative 1, 0, 1, 1. Now if we need to find the inverse of this relation that we call s, inverse relation of s is simply interchanging the value of your domain and the value of your range. So the value of x will now have negative 1, 0, 1, and 1, and the new value of y will be 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now what if we have a set of function like y equals x squared plus 3? The first step in finding the inverse of this function is to simply interchange y and x. And by interchanging the value of x and y, our new equation will be x equals y squared plus 3. After interchanging the value of x and y, you are now going to solve for the value of y. And by doing so, we're going to get rid of 3 so we can isolate y squared on the right side of the equation and we'll have y squared equals x minus 3. And to get rid of the exponent 2 by y, we simply take the square root of both sides of the equation. Therefore, y is equal to plus or minus square root of x minus 3. And that is the value of the inverse of the function y equals x squared plus 3. Now try to find the inverse of y equals square root of x plus 1. So the inverse of y equals square root of x plus 1, switch y and x, so the inverse is x squared minus 1. 